Hi, I'm Dan Smith, and today I want to share some motivational ideas that I believe will help you move forward in life when you understand these ideas and you take action. You can be, do, or have anything in life that you want. This motivational teaching is taken from the Old Testament book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. Then the Lord answered me and said, Record the vision and inscribe it on tablets, that the one who reads it may run. For the vision is yet for the appointed time. It hastens toward the goal, and it will not fail. Though it tarries, wait for it, for it will certainly come. It will not delay. There's an interesting phenomena that is found in the scriptures, and that is dual meanings. There's, there's an immediate meaning, that is, for the time that is written, and to the people that it is written to, and there is a meaning that is for a future time. Therefore, a passage that is written down for a people back 3,000 years ago has relevance for us today as well. I believe that this is one of those passages. When God was speaking to the prophet several thousand years ago, I believe that he is also speaking to us today. So let's break this down a little bit and see what it says. Then the Lord answered me and said, Record the vision and inscribe it on tablets. So record the vision and you inscribe that onto a tablet. Vision. To write the vision, that implies, first of all, that you have a vision. The majority of people don't have a vision, and they never write it down. That's why only about 2% of all the people in any society are truly wealthy financially. Everybody wishes for wealth, but wishes won't bring wealth. Wishing is like a pan full of boiling water. The steam has power, but it just evaporates into the atmosphere because there is no channeling of the power. But... When you put that water into a closed container and you run the steam through a governor, then you can move a steam locomotive that wastes tons. Have you ever heard, write down your goals? Have you ever heard that it's important to define exactly what you want? My question is this, are you doing it? Have you decided exactly what you want out of life? You have to decide. Have you ever heard, ask and it shall be given unto you, Matthew 7, 7? If you don't know what to ask for, then how will you ever ask for it? How can you ask for something that you don't even know what you want? If you are ever going to get what you want from life, then zero in on what you want. Put a big X on it like a bullseye so that you can move towards it. Write it down on paper so that you can mentally dwell on it. Whatever you dwell on in your mind will grow in your experience. If you are driving a car down the road on a straight road and you look to the left, what happens? Your car will automatically veer to the left because you will move in the direction of your gaze. Agreed? So to move in the direction of what you want, you have to make a decision about what you want. That is your dream. We'll call that your vision. Then it's important to, that you, number one, record the vision and inscribe it on tablets. Write it down so that you can visualize it and you can move towards it. If the, it is true that you move towards whatever you think about, then it is very important to write it down on paper so that you can study it and dream about it. Number two, that the one who reads it may run. It is important that once you have a vision and you have written it down, that you fix your gaze upon it. How do you do that? You read it out loud at least one time a day. Two times is better, and three times is even better than that. Read it out loud until you have memorized it. There is something that happens in the mind when you write it down with your own hand, you see it with your own eyes, you read it out loud with your own voice, and hear it with your own ears. It creates a vibration within your spirit or your body, and it goes into your subconscious mind. It actually increases the vibration in your mind and your body. Writing it on paper takes a thought that is just an abstract or a fleeting thought that can come into your mind with no power, like that pot of boiling water, and it adds form to it. Adding form is like the steam being contained and channeled. If you were to design a building like a house, would you just try to picture it in your mind? How would your builder read the picture that is in your mind? How many square feet is in the living room? How many bathrooms? No, you wouldn't rely on only a picture in your mind. You would take that idea to an architect. Then the architect would begin to put that put form to your thought. The architect would have lots of questions for you. How big's the lot? 
What are the setbacks of the lot? What are the conditions of the covenants of the neighborhood that you want to build in? How many square feet can you afford? What type and style of house do you want to build? Does the neighborhood warrant the dollar amount that you want to of the house that you want to build? And on and on the questions would go, right down to the color of the light switches and the toilets. So the architect would then begin to compose the picture that you have in your mind onto a piece of paper. It may take several weeks, months of intense thought to work and work to put the vision onto a piece of paper, that paper would then go to, through many revisions and different drafts before its completion. Number three, read the vision. Read your blueprint. You can then take that blueprint to your friends and say, hey, look at this. This is my new house. But is it really your new house? No, it's just a set of plans on paper. But they can, over time, be turned into a physical house that you can live in. The thought has become a vision. The vision was put onto paper so that the vision could be transferred to the minds of other people. The vision was then taken to the next step in the mind as it became clearer and clearer. It was put on paper and turned into an actual blueprint. Now you have something that can be, can be taken to a builder. The lot can be purchased. The builder can then begin to order the materials and deliver them and line up all the subcontractors that would begin the construction of your new home. The vision is yet for the appointed time. It hastes toward the goal and it will not fail. Though it tarries wait for it, for it will certainly come, it will not be delay. It is important to set a time limit on the goal. If it stays nothing more than a set of plans, they can be set up on the shelf for years. So what is your start date? What is your final date? In fact, plans can sit on your shelf for the entire rest of your life and never be built at all. You have to create a sense of urgency to turn that plan into a concrete form. Let's say that you start to build the house on January 1st and that you have an end date of, let's say, June 30th to complete the house and move in. Well, what if you miss the date? What if it takes two additional months to complete the house? Well, it may be just a little bit inconvenient, but the reality is that you will still have the new house. It just took two months longer to get there. How about dreaming about the life that you really want? How about setting a goal to make your yearly income into your monthly income? Why not dream about a life of abundance and traveling to distant lands to see other cultures? How about giving money to a good cause for other people to have a better life? How about mothers that want to send the kids, or mothers that work and send the kids to daycare, working from home and making an income and raising their own kids at the same time instead of packing them off to a daycare? How about you designing the life that you really want to live? What goals would you set if you knew that you could not fail? What ways would you bless your spouse or your children? What way would you bless your family, the family of mankind throughout the world? Would you pay for fresh water wells in other countries that people could have fresh, safe drinking water? Exercise your imagination. Now, Napoleon Hill wrote, What the mind of man can conceive and believe, the mind of man can achieve. In Genesis 11:6, God himself said that, Nothing they set out to do will be impossible for them, speaking of mankind. Jesus said in Mark 9.23, If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. What do you want life to be like? Why don't you make it that way? So once again, the steps are these. Vision, write it down, read the vision, run towards the vision, appoint a time frame, hurry towards the goal, if you don't hit the goal in the time frame you set, reset the time frame and continue on towards the vision. The vision or goal will come if you keep the faith and never let up on the pressure. You can choose to think anything that you want to think. You can choose to th think anything that you want. You can choose to do anything that you want to do. So it all starts with having a dream. Then you make a decision about what you want. Then setting goals, and beginning to work toward the goal. Decide what new information that you might have to have to make it come true. Get started. Keep the faith. Never give up until you have what you want. This is Dan Smith. 
I truly hope that this was helpful for you. Do you have a need to increase your income? Then go to my website and enter your email address. That is http colon dash dash dreamcreation.ws. That's D R E A M C R E A T I O N dot W S. Then watch that short video. The fact is that if you want something that you've never had, you will need to do something that you have never done. You will likely need more education. But not just any education. It has to be a specific area for a specific purpose. You need to associate with people that can help you get what you want. Do you have the need to increase your income? Then go to my website, enter your email address, and then watch that short video. We are a group of like-minded individuals that have come together for the purpose of building a business and wealth creation. Now, income disclaimer, I can't guarantee your results because I don't know you. I don't know your work ethic or if you have a dream big enough to carry you through the difficult times. I'm not looking to work with just anyone. I am looking for people who want more and are not afraid to work hard to get it. Now, if anyone tells you that to make money on the internet, you can go to the beach every day, they might not be telling you the truth. It takes hard work to make money on the internet. This is a legitimate business and it will take work. But to begin the process, it begins with you getting educated about the process. Then after you know what you're doing and you have taken an action and laid the foundation of a great business, then you can leverage your time and you can go to the beach or you can travel the world and live anywhere that you want and make money doing it. So go here to my website, enter your email address and watch that short video. That's http colon slash slash dreamcreation.ws. Take action and we will talk later if you decide to take action and join me. This is Dan Smith. Thanks for watching.